Welcome to Random and Desperate. Well, today we are going to have a search around all the free piers. We've got North Pier behind us, we'll have a look at Central and then South Pier. Now, that was good timing. You say, look, just across there, the, it's the 11 o'clock, and you hear the bells ringing in the. Well, I don't know what, to be honest, I don't know what that is. Some kind of farmer church. I have to have a look at that before my to do list. So we're just behind North P here and we're going to have a look around here. So this was built, started building in 1860, which was the Victorian age. And this was the first one to be built out the free. And this one was the posh one. This was the VIP, the creme of the creme of its time. This was a new thing, walking on the pier. Walk, they feel like they're walking on the sea. And this one is quite expensive. Now, it's say opened in 1863, and it had round about 20,000 people on its first official day. And to get in here was round about tuppence, two, tuppence, which it, in today's money, if you work it out to our currency now, it's just over 10 pounds, just to have a walk round here. Now say so this is the oldest out of the, the three piers here. What we'll do, we'll have a walk down and we'll see what interesting artifacts we can see. Because you know what I'm like about my old buildings on my own structure. <laughs> Now, as soon as you get here, look at this Victorian style seating area. You imagine all the bums what have actually sat on these chairs looking over the sea over there. So years ago, this is where you had to pay to enter this bit over here. So you paid your money and walked through. So this was a new experience for most people, but you have to have quite a bit of money to actually go on this pier. There's a used to be a, a railway, what used to go up and down here. Now they do have a little miniature railway, but it's electronic now. As you see, there's no tracks there. So carry on, up, on along the pier. But you imagine years gone by, this would full of deck chairs, People with lovely Victorian hats. Things have changed now, haven't they? You've got two shops here, which the, the, these four shops here, you see on the left, right, and to spur up, have been here since the opening, and they're still here now, getting up to 200 years old. So if we was in the 1860s, our eye would have to be rich, would have to quite a bit of money to actually come up and down here. Say, was it 10 quid to, to actually walk? I have the pleasure of walking. Like anything, good old Blackpool, it's just starting to rain. It wouldn't be then, <laughs> it wouldn't be Blackpool without a bit of drizzle. <laughs> I just want to show you this building, it's the, it's, it's the original theatre entrance at the moment, but it wasn't always here, it was the Indian Palladium, right here, but like with anything to do with piers, as you can imagine water, and you know yourself with piers, they are prone to fires, and it was burnt down once, and they rebuilt it, but there was another fire a few years after, so they decided just to build a theatre. Because theatres was a booming business back, back then. The old cinema. <laughs> here's the put, here's the information. Now I do go here with my children. I say it's a, a really good place to go. And I know, I know, yes, it's sooty and sweep and stuff like that. It's them, them kind of things will actually go in here. Now here's an interesting fact. The oldest sooty glove is in this museum, but unfortunately it's closed like anything else around the streets of Blackpool. Over to your left here you've got the garden, 
call it the garden now. Now years ago this used to be a bandstand, but like anything else, fire damage caused this to be replaced. And they and they did it into like a little bar area now where you can have a cup of tea and listen to some music. And the beer of course. <laughs> Look at this, the old original train, what took people from the right of the north, right, right or where the arcades used to be, all the way up here. Because you know what it is like round Blackpool with the, with the weather, the rain and the wind, and the Victorians as well. Because I said, you have to have lots of money to actually, actually visit this place, to come on this pier. VIP style. <laughs> this is what they use now to get people across from one side to the other. Yeah, it's electronic now. And there is Blackpool in all its glory. Oh, Blackpool Tower, look how beautiful she is. Absolutely beautiful. Now, here's an interesting fact for you. During World War II, they could never understand why Hitler didn't bomb Blackpool, especially where there was bases over there, over there, and an army base just further down the road. But he never put one bomb on Blackpool, especially out of the iconic tower there. Which, if he did bomb it, it would, let's just say, damage morale, but he never did it. But years later, after the war, they understood why, because Hitler liked his history, liked his heritage, and he wanted his troops to go somewhere to relax, to have a holiday. So that's why this was never touched. Now we're going ahead to North Pier now, which is, you can just see it up there. If you look, it's got no wheel. It used to be a big wheel. Now this was the second one to be built, a few years after this one. I say it was that busy, there's that many people wanted to come up and down here to experience the walking on the water, as they used to call it. They decided to build a second one a few years after, just over there. The middle one, but the central pier, which is the cheaper version of here, if you understand. The Victorians, only the rich could come here, so they wanted more people, the working class, that they were neither normal to experience this and to make more money. So they built that one three years after they built this. But people wasn't happy because back then this was a VIP. They didn't want the common man to enjoy this experience at a cheaper price. But the council, in its wisdom, which is a wise thing to do, decided to carry on time to build a second one now I'll be honest it's just starting rain folks so I might do the other two film the other two filming the other day as you see it's raining typical Blackpool so I might give it a, so I'll see you tomorrow and we'll carry on the filming of the other two piers hopefully we can it won't be raining <laughs> So a pub round here. Central Pier now, it's eventually had stopped raining, so I'm going to carry on my journey. And here it is, Central Pier, which is not the VIP, it's a working class one. This was originally designed for the working class people of Great Britain. Now that big structure there, the wire what says Fun Fair, that used to be a dance hall years ago. But after the Second World War, if Dan Hall wasn't that popular because as you say things change don't they and that was that turned into a theatre theatre started to come by live acts it's a shame really to actually lose that say an iconic building like dance hall there's not many not many dance hall left and what do young people do about if they want to go dancing well now you know they go to clubs so let's go and have a look round the central pier the working class men's experience of walking on the pier Elvis
you think this used to be a dance hall? You can see the steps going up. This could have been a ballroom years ago, but say things change and people want arcade games now. Two pences. And... Yeah, no problem. Well, that didn't go according to plan. I said I went through the arcades, got told off, which I'm perfectly used to by now. Some people don't like me filming, which is fair enough. It is a private residence, and I couldn't get to the far end of the pier because we're having some renovation work done. I think they're putting some new rides in. Oh, they might be doing something with the wheel. It's a shame. I wanted to go right to the end of the pier. Never mind, never mind. Well, now I'm going to go off to Fleetwood. I know there's another one that is South Pier, which I'm going to do tomorrow, part of my adventure. <laughs> so I'm going to off to Fleetwood now and let's see what I can get up to and get towed off around the streets of Fleetwood. Yeah. But if you're watching this, you'll see me like that at South Pier. South Pier, the very last pier to be built in Blackpool. Now there was rumours of a fourth pier being open, but I'll let you know a bit more about that at the end of this little video. Now South Pier, let's have a look at it. Now here, here was the Regent Theatre. Because back then we have North Pier, then we had Central Pier, and then we have South Pier, but it was called the Victorian Pier, and it only changed its name in. In 1930 to the South Pit, which we know now. So there was a was a theatre here years ago. Like anything in the night in the 1930s, it was booming business for theatres because people used to go with their mums and dads, and the first thing they did up and down these pier would book <laughs> book theatre tickets to see their favourite acts. Because most of the well-known stars back then used to used to perform in well-known locations like this but you've got to be quick and book them tickets yeah they don't exist no more say so there was two piers there was a region there and there was a pavilion over there where the crazy coaster is now let's go and have a look around the south pit and this time i hope <laughs> i'm not going to be told off <laughs> Oh, naughty boy. <laughs> pier was more like a relaxing pier. I say you had North Pier, which is for the upper classes. Then you had the Central Pier, which was more of a fun pier. But the North Pier, or the Victorian Pier, which is known as now, is was, let's just say, the relaxing one. I had two theatres, one here and one right at the end of the pier what doesn't exist no more unfortunately because in 1958 it burnt down a fire and it was partly built again but another 20 years later another fire ripped it through so they decided just to get rid of the beautiful iconic theatre so now there's no theatres so there's no theatres in south no theatres in central but there's still one remaining one like anything in blackpool if you come off season which which is june it is absolutely quiet <laughs> <laughs> There's the sandcastle, the big one. Look and look at the sea. So this is a new thing, the gin house. I say the gin is getting very popular now. It's coming back. Years ago, only posh people used to drink gin. But now, it's coming back from all the different flavours. Right, we're at the top of the pier now. I say it's mostly used for fairground rides now. And you see how busy it is. 
nobody here except me. So it's 12 o'clock in June. Where is everybody? Sign of the times. That's a beautiful carousel, isn't it? But that's an old one. Look how old that is. The carousel. That is pretty. So we'll just go to the end of the pier where this crazy mouse is. This is where the theatre used to stand. But like anything else in pier, the worst thing, the worst thing for pier is, is fire. Because you've got water, electrics. So this is where the pit, where the theatre was. No more. It's a shame. Because I think theatres are coming back slowly. There's Blackpool Tower in all its glory. Beautiful. Right, we'll just go to the end of the pier. Now most piers most pier, especially Blackpool, has some very dark, horrible history. As you see, that's why this camera's there. People, unfortunately, jump off these bridges. But as you see, the lockets to remember these poor people who have died over the years to for mental health. Apologise the wind. I say we're right at the right at the edge of that right at the edge of the pier now it's, it's going to be windy see mental health is a big thing especially in Blackpool <laughs> young men it's mostly young men who jump off this bridge to unfortunately let's just say die in their own sort call on, call on mental health aspect of their lives now look at this Yeah, really. Well, we've had a bit of a tour round all the piers, except the, cent the central pier. They're having some renovation done on the big wheel. And they got towed off. <laughs> Hope I got that on camera. That would be funny. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the famous Blackpool piers. But like anything else, Round Blackpool, if it's off season or it's not kids' holiday, there's no one about but me. See you next time, people.